In July 1923, Ovanes Kachnani, the first Prime Minister of Armenia, wrote a report for the Armenian Revolutionary Federation Congress, in which he addressed Armenia's conflict with Turks in the years surrounding World War I. This manifest is historical evidence that explains the tragedy of 1915. The following are excerpts. At the beginning of the fall of 1914, Armenian revolutionary bands began to be formed in Transcaucasia with great enthusiasm and uproar. They could not refrain from organizing and fighting against the Turks. It would be useless to ask today to what extent the participation of volunteers in the war was a contributory cause of the Armenian calamity. No one can claim that the savage persecutions would not have taken place if our behavior was different, as no one can claim that the persecutions would have been the same even if we had not shown hostility to the Turks. The proof is, however, and this is essential, that the struggle begun decades ago against the Turkish government brought about the desolation of Turkish Armenia. There remains an irrefutable fact that we had not done all that was necessary to evade war. We ought to have used peaceful language with the Turks, and we did not do it. We did not do it for the simple reason that we had no information about the strength of the Turks. This was the fundamental error. We were not afraid of war because we thought we would win. When the skirmishes had started, the Turks proposed that we meet and confer. We did not do so and defied them. In his own words, the first Prime Minister of Armenia states that the tragedy was not the fault of the Turks. This manifest was printed in New York by the Armenian Information Service and is available in most major American libraries. Taking an honest look at the history of the Armenia-Turkey conflict makes it clear that there's no simple allocation of right and wrong. To download the full report and learn more, visit factcheckarmenia.com.